Hello everyone and welcome back, I would say, to EU4 Common Sense. I'm playing here as Brittany using the Alex Talionis mod. And yeah, look at this. Um, I think we should get a new colonist. We should finish this. I'm gonna get tariffs increased, which is not too important. But we're gonna get this extra colonist, which our economy can probably handle. Maybe not, but after this war, they surely, we surely can handle a second colony. So let's just do it for now. Uh, let's get this extra colonist going. And we're gonna send them over here to Canada. Obviously. Breton, Canada, as requested. We're gonna do that. Um, there's They have no aggressiveness, so they're not gonna attack over here. So I'm willing to send them there. Actually, yeah, they're much more aggressive. So we're not gonna have any problems with the natives over here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna send them here first. And then we could send them over here as well. That seems like a good province. Alright. Let's continue. And we can combine. Hello. Combine these forces. Good job. Alright. Yeah, Norway, France. Everyone's just wrecking them completely. I wonder who discovered that over there. Maybe it was Norway. Maybe England. I really don't know. Yeah, we see these two provinces. France is going to take care of the rest. Good enough. Alright, we're done here, I think. Um, pretty much. The Hansa is still in this. They're, ah, they are the problem. I see. Well, how about you wipe peace? Dude, now he's still high enthusiastic. He won't peace out. Motherfucker. Alright, well, in this... Actually, he might peace out as I sent my, if I sent my forces, my navy over here. So that's what I'm going to do. If Lubeck is occupied, he might peace out. He might do that. Uh, Cardinal upsets some people. Um, national unrest. No, I want to. I want to keep the cardinal. France is gonna take care of them. I I have trust in them. They're good people. All right, let's keep going. And our colony is almost done like that a lot. They're actually unseaging British stuff. They're mean. They're actually mean. So we're gonna go over and chill in Wessex, I believe. And yeah, we have arrived, so Hansa is medium. Uh, they should want to peace out. Yeah, totally. Alright, let's peace them out. I probably should have taken gold. Damn it! All right, fine. They accept that. Damn it. Ah, uh, yeah, I should have taken the gold, but all right, you know, it's not too bad. Now we can peace out England here. They should take a hundred percent deal. I mean, really, they suck. All right, I want. What are my claims? Oh, yeah, I have quite some claims. So let's give me this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And this one? No, oh, okay, that's kind of a lot. Um, I would love to have corporations and money. All of your money. All right. Well, he'll accept that. So yeah, that seems good enough for me. Now this is going to be quite some aggressive expansion, but only England will hate me for that, which is interesting enough. And it's going to be some over extension, but I think I can handle that. And we have enough admin points so yeah let's do it let's do that take the land oh my god we took just like the entire coastline in this one war and marches is actually a really good setup I mean it's one two three four five and another two more provinces that is that are guarded by it so we don't have an maybe we should move it over here that will cover these provinces no, no, England, uh, London will have a fort as well to cover them. And we're going to have one in Yorkshire as well. That's going to cover these. So Norfolk is not going to have one. Cornwall will not have a fort. I guess that's fine. That seems pretty decent, actually. We're going to leave it, but we will increase autonomy. Wow, that only gets rid of five. I'm surprised. Hmm. 
Okay, and they're Protestant. These provinces are Protestant, but Wessex isn't. Um, in this case, do what do I do? How much war exhaustion do we have? Not that much. We should probably just do we wait coring? I guess we should wait with coring it. Why is this only five? Because it's not okay. It's not developed enough to cost a lot. War exhaustion is really 3%, but that is it. Okay. Cool. Oh, we should have made them give up uh, Scotland. He still has Scotland as a vassal, but alright. Maybe Burgundy and uh, Tyrone are gonna do that. And France no longer considers England a rival. That is actually bad. Who they rivaled now? The Ottomans. Okay, fine. And Sweden. Let's improve relations with them. I want them to be happy. Great. Great, great, great. And we might want to send one more dude over to the New World. Just so that we can protect our colonies. France broke the alliance with Sardinia. And we can't centralize. Uh, now I wonder if that actually makes sense. I think it will say us if it makes sense. Let's see. Um, centralize. Increase it will decrease our. Okay, so increasing. Decentralizing will actually increase our administrative uh, efficiency. So we're not going to increase it for now. We're not going to decrease it either. Okay. We have lost our claim on the line, sir, I believe. He's still allied to Spain. That is very annoying. Alright, so this province is finished. Okay, where are we gonna send them? Maybe over here? It's probably a good choice. Alright, and you guy. Get in there. Get over here. Great. So yeah, we're about to uh, colonize... Uh, yeah, there, there just started. About to colonize Canada. And we should... Do we increase liberties? I think we do. I mean, why not? Who's pissed off? The gentry or the nobles? We are a former. Um, yeah. Whatever. Oh my god. I think it looks... Uh, I think we're doing very well here. Is this... Do we have war exhaustion? Uh, yeah, we still have one war exhaustion. Is this actually level 2 fort or is it one level 1? Want to build level 2. Actually, cancel this, but build level 2. There you go. How much inflation do we have? Should probably check that earlier. Ah, uh, 1% is not too bad. Seize... Oh, yes! Seize church lands. Definitely. Oh, we need papal influence to seize to seize church lands. I like that. And why can we no longer seize peasant lands? Hello? I could only seize one guy's Hmm. Uh the clergy are furious. <laughs> no okay, well we can now improve our relations. Um yeah, I really don't want to piss off France too much. Um, Clergy's enraged. Oh, what do I care? They do know nothing. So, after the second war with England, once I take over pretty much all of their land, then I think I'm able to uh, break the alliance with France and go for either Burgundy or Spain or both of them. Because Burgundy does, does look very powerful and they are friendly. They are friendly towards me. Um, so I should use that. Yeah, I should use Burgundy because France is just getting too strong if you don't beat them down. I like this border. Looks very nice. I got the the western half and England has the eastern half, but they still have um, meat. It's very funny, in my opinion, at least. 
Alright, these two guys get on the boat. And, uh, yeah, just go together. And go over here. Actually, that was kind of dumb. <laughs> you obviously have to go on the boat. There you go. Recall that diplomat from the Pope. Let's go to Biothok. So this is going to be part of Britain, Canada. That is nice. And you guys can now go back to patrolling. And how much more are we making? War operations is only two dockets, but that is fine. Uh, disagreeing advisor. Who's our advisor? Morale guy. Nah, that was a good point. We gained military points for that. It's fine. Can still tech up. Uh, I won't do it. And we have unrest. English separatists. Well, that would be terrible. But we can build some more troops. Um, I'm actually thinking about two more cavalry and two more infantry. Let's do the cavalry first. And then two tercios over here. Good job. How is religion looking? So obviously we, we just destroyed Protestantism a little bit because we took half of England. Um, but you know, Scandinavia is still looking strong. So we actually are allied to a Protestant nation. Well, that's fine. Hopefully Burgundy is going to become reformed. That would be very awesome. Like, like let's say Burgundy, Burgundy and Savoy become reformed. And maybe like Bohemia becomes Protestant and Brandenburg. That would be so cool. What? Our administration has failed our people. How is that possible? Instead of justice for all, there's justice for the few. Are you kidding me? We have excellent administration. Or maybe it's because I just seize lands left and right. Ah, that's possible. We have zero stability. That sucks, certainly. Actually, yeah, let's me... Let's me... Let me see... The uh, land ownership again. We have high royal authority. Highly centralized. Yeah. We need absolute authority. Maybe we need to centralize even more. We still have very high administrative efficiency as well. Okay, land ownership. We own 12%. The church only owns 17%. Less nobles have 30% though. The nobles, man. The nobles, man. Alright, I'm done. Alright. Alright, you two guys over there the horses are not done yet my high admiral died okay um interesting manage the privy council a new high admiral okay well that's good the high admirals oh he's still leading the fleets okay so they automatically do that that's good so we Probably want to put him over here. Yeah, he's, he seems decent. And you meet up here, please. Good job. And protect trade. So we should probably get two more cogs. And then we can, we can get nine more ships. Oh, actually, they're called barks. Okay, two more barks. And then we'll be at 11. And we can get seven more ships. Actually, that's a long time. It's five ships. Oh, let's buy five ships for now. Go to Wessex. Cool. And we can probably fabricate some more claims. Can we not? He's still allied to Burgundy in Spain. Jesus Christ. It's, oh my god. Yeah, fabricate real claims on England again. Um. Let's actually start with London. 
London seems like a good one, and improve relations with Burgundy if possible. Um, however, if Burgundy and France fight, I don't really want to side with France, to be honest. They're just so overpowered all the time. Has anyone actually colonized yet? Spain and Portugal. Well, Spain is... They're still trying to go for Africa. That is so annoying. Like, you're not going to get anything out of it. Honestly. So it seems like we're going to be the only ones colonizing for quite some time. Because England's not going to be able to do it. Tyrone's not going to be able to do it. No way... Well, might. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, and Spain... Well, Portugal doesn't seem like they're in a position to do it. And Spain doesn't really feel, feel like it. They're going... They're going for Africa, but they're going to lose troops. Yeah, you have, like, no growth and 1% one, 1 ch settler chance. And we... This is the third event we get. That is awesome. The colonies just grow so quickly. I mean, it does cost money, but that's the one thing we have. England. Brittany. <laughs> it looks... It looks really funny. It looks like twins. It looks so awesome. I don't want to destroy that. And we can... Oh, a Regency Council in France and he's collecting extra taxes what an idiot just gonna make your know, people mad but doesn't that look cool I like how this looks I'm gonna make a screenshot of that probably no I'm I, no I won't but I like the idea of doing it <laughs> can we tack up our military yes good Actually, you can hold on to it. We're not at war right now, and there's not going to be a new unit. So we'd rather wait. Maybe it's going to get to 15% off. Oh, selling titles to the great nobles. You should never be doing that. And Saxony is Protestant. Whoopsie, what happened there? You know, you know, you shouldn't really be doing that. But I guess it makes sense. I mean, Wittenberg was the province. That was, was, that, that was where the church was where Martin Luther nailed his uh, reformation thesis. And my second son is of age and available for marriage. Nice. So, hold on. And we're actually losing money right now? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's a fort maintenance. Wow, these forts are expensive. Well, I guess in this case, we will just uh, not pay for it because that is very expensive. Wow. I didn't think that would be that expensive. I and mean, we do have bad economy still, I think. That's probably hurting us as well. Uh, where does it say that? It should say somewhere. Uh, excellent, administrative, greedy, cruel, organized. We could, oh, we have, yeah, we have smugglers dominating, so we gain, we lose that. But that should stop this year, okay? And we have weak economy one more year. So maybe if that is going away, we might actually be fine. So I'll, I'll keep it for now. And what was I looking at? Right, I wanted to marry off my son. Uh, foreign actions. But how is that? What? Maybe there's no one eligible? But if I look at this. Ruling dynasty. So, we are married. We're Duke Arthur IV. We have one unmarried son. We have one unmarried daughter. And one sister. And my second son is heir to the throne. Because the first one died. So he's no longer living, right? He's 15 years old. And she's 3 years old. Actually, can we now select heir's education? Heir is at least 15. Well, he is 15. The hell? Well, he's 14. It says right here he's 15. Okay, that doesn't really make sense. Uh, but I guess, well, next year it should fix itself. Okay. And we are, we are married to Saxony. So royal marriages we have are only with Protestant nations, it seems like. Um, we are married... Yeah, we're married to Norway and Saxony. Interesting. But we're allied to... Savoy and France as well Very interesting, but yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here guys. Thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed I certainly did because you know look at this. It's just, it looks perfect. 
I cannot destroy that, but I have to. But yeah, it looks very, very nice. And also our colony over here. Um, soon enough, there's going to be a colonial nation, Breton, Canada. Very nice. Anyway, that was it, and I'll see you next time. Chief Dronka, signing off.